Sonic. Lab. TV. Hi, I'm Brandon Ryan here from Cakewalk and uh, happy to be here uh, at the Sonic State headquarters in beautiful Bath, England. And uh, very excited to uh, show you the new incarnation of Sonar, this reimagined version of Sonar we call Sonar X1. Uh, the idea with Sonar X1 was to basically take uh, all of the features and everything that's great about Sonar and we have sort of reimagined it in a way uh, that makes uh, uh, your ability to focus on your music due to the idea that we have a new layout, we have a new workflow, and we have a new intelligent design, a very new modern uh, design that allows you to focus on your music uh, more so than ever before. Um, rather than uh, adding new features and, uh, and, and continuing to cram more things into Sonar, we wanted to take all those amazing features and make them more accessible and more usable uh, than ever. What it enables you to do is essentially to um, dock windows in, in any way on multiple monitors or on a single monitor. Uh, we have a thing called a browser which uh, can collapse uh, or open and can show you all of your media files, can show you all your plugins and instruments, uh, effects, uh, MIDI effects, rewire devices, and the beauty of this is that you can actually drag uh, these effects uh, and, uh, and audio files, MIDI files, step sequencer clips, whole projects, what have you, and just drag them right into your workspace, onto your tracks, onto clips, uh, drag in virtual instruments and just begin to work right away. Uh, so very, very powerful. Um, also our new effects chains, uh, which is a new feature, can also be uh, dragged into the workspace. The amazing thing is that all of these windows, including uh, the inspector, can all be docked left or right. Uh, you can move things, uh, you can undock things, you can float them, you can collapse them. So you have a lot of control uh, over where things are laid out, uh, but it's very quick and easy to do it. It's not uh, fiddly at all. There's also a, an amazing thing down here called the multi-dock, which can be collapsed or opened or expanded. And it basically shows you, uh, when you double click on anything, it will basically bring up uh, the appropriate editor. And all of the editors in Sonar, console, piano roll view, loop construction, tempo, video windows, uh, instruments and effects can all live in this multi-dock. Uh, this multi-dock can be collapsed, it can be floated, it can be docked on the top, the bottom, dragged to another monitor. So you have uh, ultimate flexibility, but with a lot of ease and a lot of uh, uh, a very deliberate sort of, uh, sort of workflow. Screen sets. Uh, remember all the state of all of those windows, their size, what's in them, and you can just use your QWERTY keyboard, one through zero, to basically go through those screen sets. Um, very, very accessible, and they remember everything about the UI. So you can, if you want to work on something, again, you can focus more on your music just by hitting a button and getting to work. So incredibly powerful. Uh, the tools have all been revamped to work across all views. So when you have a, a tool that does something to audio, it also does it to MIDI. There's a new thing called the Smart Tool that allows you to do the bulk of all your work with one tool. It's totally context-based, so again, you don't have to think about switching tools. You can just work on exactly what you want to work on, and the Smart Tool will just contextually change um, to, to do whatever it's you intend it to do. So again, allowing you to focus on your music and not think about switching tools. On the control bar is another new area which uh, uh, is, is customizable, allows you to actually drag these components around. You can show or not show only the things you want to see. It can actually be completely hidden or brought back. It can be docked on the top, it can be docked on the bottom. However you want your workspace to be laid out, uh, you can do. And then there is a, uh, aside from uh, that and a, a, a slew of other things, uh, there's a really exciting uh, new thing we have called, that's a producer exclusive, uh, called the Pro Channel. And the Pro Channel uh, can live here uh, in the inspector or it can, uh, can, it's also in the console. Every single mixer channel has this Pro Channel and this Pro Channel consists of uh, compression, um, EQ and uh, tube saturation and also routing and you can actually just drag these little blocks around to uh, to change your routing of any of these uh, effects. The compression two types of compressor. There's a channel compressor and a bus compressor. Uh, these are inspired by classic uh, pieces of hardware. Uh, so the channel compressor is really designed for single material and the bus compressor uh, is designed for a very classic gentle bus compression. So you can get that sort of big epic big studio, large console sound uh, right, out, right out of Sonar uh, Producer. Um, and these are built into every single channel. And uh, they also amazingly have a, a wet dry knob, which is a, a, a pretty cool function. So you can actually sort of have built in parallel compression with no routing or anything. Just by twisting one knob, you can have uh, parallel compression uh, built into every uh, channel. 
The EQ, we wanted to put in sort of the ultimate console EQ uh, that was really kind of the last EQ uh, I, I think you would need. Obviously, you could add other EQs, but it was really important to have an incredibly usable, very musically, uh, uh, very musical EQ built into, uh, into Sonar Producer. Uh, this EQ has uh, three modes, pure, vintage, and modern, that uh, change the way that the Q interacts with the, the gain uh, to sort of mimic different styles of EQs from different eras. So you can have different sounds depending on the material. Um, uh, controllable uh, f uh, high and low pass uh, filters with uh, slope control, um, all 64-bit double precision audio and uh, fully X64 native as well. Uh, and then two types of tube saturation also built in. You can dial in how much you want and they both have two different characteristics. So you don't have to go to a plug-in or manage different plug-in windows. Your whole console, every single channel has this pro channel ability uh, built right into the producer edition. So uh, we've also, um, you know, kind of revamped all of the, the menus and the key commands and, and we have literally taken all of the wonderful things about Sonar, um, dropped them out and, uh, and reorganized and kind of reimagined this uh, amazing application. So we hope you'll uh, enjoy it as much as we do. And uh, thanks to Stonic State and um, see you again. I was just going to ask, um, I mean obviously you've ch by changing key commands and menus and all that kind of stuff, how is that going to work for existing users? Existing users uh, will be able to revert back to their old key commands with some of the new functionality uh, dialed in there. Uh, but for new users, and we believe also for old users, once they get used to the new key commands and the idea of these key clusters we have that are very logical grouping of functions, that uh, people will really like what we've done uh, with the new features and the new key commands.